for me this is unusually smoky hello and welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet and today i have the oldest bottling i have been tasting in front of the camera so far and yeah it's a Carl Illa from the Isle of Isla. Um, someone has been sending it back because, uh, yeah, the the stump has been faulty or I don't know. From the the damage picture, I've studied mechanical engineering. You can see normal normal usage. Someone has been opening it like that, so it broke on on that side and yeah peeled it off so um, if you want to know how to prevent this Horst has uh, made a video about how to open a bottle of uh, of whiskey or any bottle that has a, a reusable cork so um, if you open it the right way you turn it and then you pull it pretty long cork so I'd do it twice so uh, yeah what is this bottle um, we have a 1982 Kalilla, aged 30 years, distilled on 12th of September, uh, December 1982, bottled uh, 30th of uh, July 2013, matured in hogsheads, cask 6498, uh, 91, natural color 51.7%, 200 bottles came out of this cask. So um, my guess is because of the, the size, uh, how many bottles are there were, the hog's head, um, usually you say sherry hog's head, if it was a sherry hog's head. A hog's head is a cask that has been uh, remade from, from other casks, from staves of used casks. So my, my estimation would be it was a bourbon hog's head. They disassembled bourbon uh, barrels and made them into hog's heads. Um, yeah, 1982, um, if you know the history of Kalilla, uh, then the distillery has been rebuilt in, I guess I don't know the dis uh, history, but somewhere between now and 1982, the distillery has been, uh, yeah, um, rejuvenated and they replaced the equipment and they, they opened it brand new and made it bigger and you know you know one of the the yeah the big uh, workhorses for the the blend industry so many of the the stuff from color goes into the blend industry and they also sell to independent bottler like signatory vintage where this bottle has come from so um this is not from the distillery i made a video about here because that was in 2015 and that was before uh, the rebuild by the way um, if you think this is a, a true Isla whiskey it has not been matured on Isla none of the Kalila uh, whiskies are not none but nearly all of the Kalila whiskies are not matured on Isla but on the mainland of Scotland obviously in Scotland you have a a good PD note. Didn't expect that from a from a thirty year old whiskey. Usually the the oxidization and the evaporation um, lets the the phenols that uh, that make up the, the PT and smoky flavor um, lets them escape and or they are oxidized. So the unburned phenols become oxidized and then uh, are not that smoky anymore. So usually after 30 years you lose uh, more of the smoke. For me this is unusually smoky, but the smoke is not um, as in intense and, and attacking like in, let's say, an art bag or, or uh, a Lafroy. It's more, it's more round. Mm. 
very round. I like I like it about the old whiskies. You can have intense tastes without them attacking you on your tongue or your your mouth that much. And you start off with a, a little bit of fruitiness, um, some fruitiness I would say, like pears and apples, fresh fruits. Um, then you realize ah that the whole smoke is developing, but as a I would say a damp smoke like like you like a, a burned out house <laughs> when when you when you go come to a bonfire that um, in the morning and you that's kind of the the smoke I would describe it yeah a burned out bonfire smoke yeah and in the end have a a little bit of that bourbon sweetness not as intense with the real bourbon but a little hint of that bourbon flavor. Mm. Mm. Oh. Also the the alcohol uh fifty-one point seven is not as demanding as it as I would have expected to. Mm. And the second taste, I get a bit of lemon somewhere in the middle or in the finish. Yeah. So, very interesting bottle. If you'd like to know more about um, Kalila or Signatory Vintage, please visit whiskey.com and have a look around. We have a lot of information and knowledge about um, whiskies and these kind of bottlings. So yeah, thank you for watching. And if you uh, know people who might be interested in this video, then please feel free to share, share this video with your friends. And if you happen to have a whiskey site, then uh, don't hesitate to embed us on your site as well. Thank you for watching.